when the market is repeating recent price structure, it is important to look through the recent price movements. And that kind of gives you a certainty of what really is happening there. We have a similar pattern. We have seen this over and over in the recent past and the price moved to the upside. So if we do look at that correctly, the odds of this continuing to the upside is going to be higher. Now, that's not directly pointing you towards a ramp in the price. The next stop is going to be close to 70, 71. That is going to be a resistance. So we do have this pattern which we have been respecting for a few days now. So on a shorter horizon, we do have this kind of a structure. So if we do bounce off from this and we break this to the upside, that's where things will get a little bit more attractive. But for those who are involved in XRP and who are looking at this pattern, asking the question like, okay, we're kind of making a double bottom formation. RSI is starting to show you a bullish divergence, a hidden bullish divergence. The thought process here is going wild. Now, yeah, maybe some agrees, maybe some does not, I don't. But still, you get the point. The speculation, the hype in this asset still exists. What's going to be the reality? Yes, the volume is increasing with all that's happening. What would that mean for XRP as an asset and XRP ledger as a network? Welcome to the Sinovic Investor Family, where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10 person of this world. I'm really happy to see a lot of you guys are smashing that like button. And as we start this video with request, let's start by smashing that here. Now, let me first share my thought process here. Not about the price possibility of different guys. It would depend from who you are talking to. But let me put my perspective here. If I do look at this, yeah, the volume is increasing with the new stable coin coming on to it. You need to understand, I've actually listened to a lot of different thought process, but I think there should be a proper understanding. Say you're a corporate office, you want to use the network, XRP Ledger, you like it, the utility, that's what you want to utilize. Perfect. But you're scared about this kind of a movement. So if you're going to play with hundreds of millions of dollars and it's about to drop 20, 30 percent. You really don't want that because the moment a CEO is opening up and looking through the recent volatility, they would say 50 percent down, 30 percent down, 20 percent down. Ah, I want to use that network, but I don't want this volatility. So what's the best option? You can still use that network. You can still exchange value on that network, but you're not going through that volatility. That's what this means in my thought process. You're on that network. You have a stable coin, which is one is one, which means the value is still the dollar, which is good. And the moment you want to do that transaction, you go through the XRP ledger where the native asset is XRP, which means you still have massive adoption. You still have the world-class assets entering. Now, whether you want to call fiat as an asset or not, it depends, but more and more value is entering onto the network. So the moment you think about that, this makes a lot of sense. Yeah, volume is surging because the real life use is coming. We want to see that and that's great. But thought process here would be a little bit too much to think about the asset is actually run through that level. But yes, it's going to be a lot of money entering into this space once they can use this without the volatility. Now, let's get back into the price action side of things. We just talked about the short term movements, the patterns, the trend. The moment we zoom out and reduce the noise in the market, what can we see? There is a big uh, possibility. Yeah, for sure, 
the price action shows you there is a bigger possibility where you're making consistent higher lows, the trend is to that direction. But the RSI shows you this clear double bottom. Hmm. That shows a hidden bullish divergence. And that's not just valid on a photo chart. If you're like, okay, I'm, I'm not a fan of a shorter horizon. Let's zoom out. Let's go on to a daily chart. What do you see? It's still relevant here. If you pull it down and look through what happened here, you'll actually see this. The price is still going up. The RSI is not. It came down to that level where it made a hidden bullish divergence. See, you want to look at it on a three-day chart. Now you come to this level. You're watching this going up and at the same time, the RSI dropping. So in multiple higher time frames, you do have this playing out, which is good. Great. Now, let's go to the basic price action. We would like to see what's happening with respect to the volume and the price action. So we had a little bit of buying volume, which was able to push the price back above the moving average. Then we got almost the same selling volume, which was not able to push the price back down and keep it there. Which means sellers did try to push it down, but buyers are coming back in to buy more of this asset. So usually what we see in the market is a drop like this and a slow grind to the upside and a retest of this level before you go back up like this, right? This is what we are looking at. But on a micro, when you do look at this, it doesn't feel like that. Yeah, we would like to see a choppy movement after this, just the reversal of that to come back there, but it's not showing that sense, right? And the moment you actually start zooming out, you still watch like, okay, we are still above the all time highs on a monthly. That's great for this asset if you are a bull, right? And then you're slowly zooming in, trying to see these patterns and you're like, okay, the structure, the price structure is kind of rhyming this range. But then the RSI to the price, the volume to the price, the divergence, it's not yet there. So you don't have the negative divergence in Bitcoin. So it's still to come, right? And that's where the actual thought process, the macro direction taken on to the micro leads you, right? So if Bitcoin shows you this, the question is what's the altcoin market showing you? On a short term, exactly this, you have a bullish divergence forming where the price should actually start grinding to the upside, which is positive. So it's not a huge movement again. What we are looking forward to is like an 8 to 10% run to the upside, which still is a little bit of breather, a little bit of relief in the market. But the moment you go back onto a daily, a three-day, now it's kind of rhyming what the Bitcoin is showing you. You do have the divergence formation here as well, which is positive. So we do have that. But usually what happens in the market is when you break through a moving average, you retest, you get rejected. So this should be that level. So we have seen the same price action last time. So if that is going to come here, this is something we would be looking at. Now, still this month has room by the time we reach midpoint of this market, we may actually reach even an all-time high for this cycle. Mm -hmm. And in the recent movement, it shows like we have that power to push it towards the all-time highs. But the bigger trouble here is the hype, is the speculation, is the mixed thought process about the halving. So when you do look at things on a little bit bigger horizon and you zoom in through the volume, you can actually put that argument here as well. We had very little buying volume which was able to push the price up. We had even higher selling volume, but as of now, now there's a weekly candle. Candle is not closed. You still have a couple more days. So as of now, it is still showing you that bulls are present in this market. They are still in control. Bears are trying to take the control. They're trying to fight back. 
But as of now, the confirmation is not there. Say you are really cautious. What are you looking for? If you see a break of this and a candle close below this range, mm, now there is a lot of it. You get that red flag. Now, when you zoom a little bit in from that weekly to three day chart, what can you see? We had this amount of selling volume, which respected the price. Then we had a little bit more in buying volume, which did not respect in terms of price fluctuation. It did not go higher. It did not make a bigger candle day. That shows on a shorter horizon as we zoom in, we're watching sellers trying to enter. We're watching like, you know, big institutions trying to pour on shots here. Then again, we're zooming in. We just talked about this possibility. So on a weekly, you're watching upside. On a daily, you're watching this pattern playing upside. The moment you zoom in on a short term horizon, you're still watching this possibility of a micro trend, the one, the two, the three. Now, the trouble with that is that that still is inside this, right? You're not breaking this pattern. And if you do break it, that's perfect. That's something we all want to see. Like another 10, 15% run up in Bitcoin, that would take us what? Close to 80,000 range, which is great for altcoins as well, because the market is clearly following it. The trouble with the altcoin side is that when you come look at Ether, it actually plays a big role. If Ether is about to drop, the altcoin market kind of follows it. So if you do look at this, again, the price structure is following Bitcoin. So you should be watching something similar. We have seen that in the past, right? You do this kind of a choppy session, then only you start going back up. Now, what was the number of days taken for such a move to start back up? By 15 days, it was already going up. So this 15 days actually gave life to some of these small to medium cap altcoins, which went back higher. Now, the moment you're on a monthly chart here, you're watching the moving average pointing you to the upside, the price to volume kind of showing you we had higher volume than the month of Feb in March, but it kind of failed, right? To push the price way higher. So that kind of showed like there is a lot of selling pressure entering here to maybe make this pattern as possible, which can be the one, two, three leg here, right? So we would look through that. But in the last season, we have seen like the one, the macro two and three, fine. But within that macro two, they made this kind of a structure inside it. So there is a possibility which I'm watching is this. Say you have the one agreed. Now in that two, can this be the one, two, three leg? Not the perfect drawing, but still you got the point. Now, keeping that in mind, when you zoom into this, you're seeing that, okay, we had a breakout. So the altcoin market is respecting that. You're starting this move. This can be the one. But for the two, you may have the one, two, three, right? And that's something we are looking at. We would like to see when that will start to the upside, moving to the upside. One of the easy way to do that is just go follow along the momentum. Hey, can actually on a three day suggest, no, we are not. It's starting that. Hey, can actually on a daily is like, ah, I would like to make a double bottom. But as of now, I don't have the confirmation. You zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. You want to see if bulls are able to take control of this market. Which usually, if this is the bearish movement you're looking at, it starts as a micro bullish movement in a bearish trend, and then it takes over. So you would like to look for the ether and a breakout here at 3673. If ether price actually goes above that, that's great. Now on a shorter horizon, you're looking for a breakout of 3392. If you do break that, then you go higher towards 3667. So basically 3700 and a break above that kind of gives you a lot of confirmation about this range, which is becoming a double bottom, a breakout. This is your measured move. You take that and plot that to the upside and you go to the all time highs again. So you do have a lot of interesting things playing out. And that's why on the total market, which is the altcoin market, 
when you are looking at this, Ether is kind of following that, which means the price action is kind of giving you the idea. We are also most likely to do that. Now, there are certain altcoins which went up really well in the recent move. They may correct back down because they were correlated with Bitcoin. When Bitcoin corrects back down as a retest, remember it's just a retest. This was like a month of resistance. Now, if you broke that to the upside, you're going to retest. Most likely bounce back up towards the macro resistance of 57, 58. Now, whatever happens there, you should keep your eyes focused on the assets which are highly correlated with Bitcoin. That's where the micro growth is going to be over the next three, four, five days. But in general, when Bitcoin errs, pushing through this pattern, maybe in five days, maybe in 10 days. If we do get that before the halving, that is going to create some panic, some surprise, a lot of liquidations here and there because people are expecting this to drop to the downside and shots are piling up. So when you do look at that, you will actually understand like if you see the uh, BTC uh, shots piling up, you're like, okay, if a lot of shots are entering the market, you will actually get to see how this plays out. So from the monthly, we'll come on a three day. This is what we are looking at. You get to see this. The moment this actually slows down, you're watching the trend. The price is able to grind. Now on a shorter horizon, it actually bounced up. So what we are looking at is a trend. Can we get rejected, meaning this going back down, meaning the number of shorts who entered in the recent movement getting liquidated and going down, which would again push the price back up. So you look at different metrics here, the only thing which is on again the negative side is on the micro move, dollar is still strong. We wanted to see direct rejection to the downside, but it is retesting, showing some strength. It is retesting, however, it's just a retest. So if you do slow down, that's going to give some more room for the crypto market. So guys, if you receive value for your time, smash that like button. And if you want to get all these updates real time, join the SI family with thousand plus members and get through all the calls. I'll meet you guys on the next video. Bye for now.